What's up, Sass Brothers? It's your girl, Sassy J, and welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back. It's time for another Love Island review, guys. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ella, Bella. Oh, Ella, my girl, my girl, my girl. Anyways, guys, before I get into tonight's uh, review, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you get updated every single time I upload a new video. So, guys, oh my days. I feel like... Ella is playing dangerous games right now <laughs> because obviously she's attracted to Uzi because that attraction was there before even Love Island. And that's why I say Love Island know what they're doing. They're trying, they brought Uzi in just to make sure that he was a temptation to poor Ella. Do you see what I'm saying? And Tyreek is being good. Listen, I know we gave Tyreek a hard time in the past, but no one can actually say, you know, you know, that he's stepping out of line at the moment so far from what we're seeing. And here's the thing, for all the time when Tyreek was flirting and doing all that kind of stuff, he was always very truthful about the whole situation. He always said, I'm not closed off, I'm gonna get to know people. He was always vocal about it. So yes, it was like he was wanting to be in the game and you heard him saying that he missed the game or whatever, but at the same time, in those times, he was very vocal and very um, open and honest about what he was doing. And Ella was always aware of this. Now, the day that he decided that he was going to be closed off, he's been good since then. And you can see so far, guys, he's actually showing this. He's been talking about how he's missing Ella and he's keeping himself to himself. Ella, on the other hand, Ella is being roped in by Uzi. Like, I'm going to be wrong. I know for a fact that she's not going to take him over. Well, for a fact, maybe I won't say for a fact, but I strongly believe that she won't take him over. And I feel like he's going to be left with nobody. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there are other girls in there that actually fancy him. Katie's open to it. Um, Whitney looks like she's open to it. Leah's open to it. But he's so quiet and shy. And all of his energy is going into um, Ella. But Ella is not going to choose him in the end. I don't believe she will. The only reason she would do it is because she's scared that Tyreek has done something. And this is the thing, guys, because I feel like a lot of the things that Ella's doing right now is because she feels like Tyreek. She feels like she can't trust Tyreek. And I think that's because of the stuff that he would normally say and how he would usually behave. But those were different circumstances. He wasn't closed off then. But then again, sometimes when people put stuff in your head, the trust, the trust, guys, that's the thing. It's the trust. But the problem is with the situation, if Ella you know, brings um, Uzi over back to the main villa or at movie nights or at whatever point it is, because you know Love Island producers, they're going to bring that stuff up. At whatever point that Tyreek become aware of the fact that she was open, especially if he goes through the whole Castro Moore and not be tempted and keep himself to himself, this is going to mess things up for them. And the reason why I say this is because it took a lot for him to commit to her and the fact that she was always asking him to it took a lot for him to commit to know that he's committed now he's gonna think to himself i can't trust the situation and this is what i get for trying to be you know trying to be committed in something and trying to do the right thing so this could really backfire on ella a great deal you know what i'm saying she does owe it to herself though to 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 explore and see if there's anything there um but i just feel like if she's gonna do it, she just needs to be aware of what could happen afterwards, especially if she decides that Tyreek is the one for her. She needs to kind of approach the situation in a very sensible and respectful way. Anyways, let's talk about Catherine, my girl, Catherine and Elon. Yes, I'm so happy for her. Do you know what? I look at Catherine, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like she's so suited into this guy. She really does suit this guy. It just look the energy and she's all giddy like a little teenager. It's almost kind of like, you know what I'm saying? She, you could tell that she really fancies him. I don't think I've ever seen her behaved like that towards any of the guys. Even when she first like coupled up with Scott, I didn't even see that side of her. So you could tell that this is genuinely kind of like happiness and her wanting to know this person. You could tell she actually fancies him. And he seems like he fancies her as well. And they look like a good match, guys. And we saw the kiss, okay? And that 
that's like a proper passionate kiss we saw the kiss okay so i'm kind of happy for that but let's see how that will blossom um what's his name scott in the main villa he obviously has his eye on gabby he's still trying to convince himself and other boys like oh you know uh catherine is at the back of my mind still you know i'm still thinking about catherine he keeps saying that if anyone's going to turn his head would be gabby and do you know what i'm gonna be honest devil's advocate right here um i actually look at them and they look like they're suiting i feel like they would look good together i honestly feel like they look better together than him and catherine do you see what i'm saying and i'm not and i'm not just saying that guys because i want catherine to be with alone i actually do think that they're actually very suiting and for my man mitch I'm glad that Mitch has found somebody in Abby. I hope she's not trying to just hold on to him, just stay in the villa and then she'll just do something later on because I really want Mitch to find somebody. And Mitch looked really cute in tonight's episode. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really cute in tonight's episode. I want him to find somebody. And I really hope that this girl's actually gonna be into him like in the right way and not try to play the field. Um, we see Sammy in tomorrow's night, guys. He's kissing Amber. Like, I could tell that he fancied Amber because when Kinks, is it Tinks? Asked to stay in his bed and Amber mentioned it afterwards. He, obviously, he wanted Amber to go and talk to Tinks about this. Come on, talk about a man without a backbone. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted the girl to stay in your bed that bad, you should have, you should have gone and said to things, actually, I changed my mind. Actually, that would have been really, really bad though. But, you know, it's better for him to do it than to want to tell Amber to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? But you can tell that he fancies her. Um, He's still talking about Jess. And I guess, you know, him and Jess, they it's been a few weeks. So I guess they kind of gravitated to each other and whatever. So obviously maybe she's always going to be in the back of his mind. But I like that Jess is just living her best life. I don't think I've ever heard um, Jess mention Je um, Sammy since she's been over there. Maybe when they first got over there the same night. But other than that, Jess is living her best life. And I feel like she needed this. I feel like she needed to to be open to other guys and to feel wanted by other guys again because I felt like the whole situation with Sammy when he was always the one getting the attention from the females and she not getting any attention from like a male that came in that was actually her type do you see what I'm saying so I feel like this is different I feel like it's new and I feel like she could finally get to explore connections and see whether you know what she have with Sammy is something that she wants to pursue or whether she wants to try to get to know this new guy, Zach. I think Zach is more her type. Zach, and I don't, I don't remember what the other guy's name is that she slept in this bed tonight or he shared her bed or whatever. But I could tell that she likes Zach. Anyways, guys, let's talk about Whitney. My girl is a slow burner. And you know what? I get it. But Whitney, you only have like, you know, a few days in Casa. So we got to see if we can find a man over in Casa, okay? I don't think though... I don't think, is it Lokan or Lo Lokan? I don't think he's actually into Whitney like that. So I don't want her to make a mistake and go for him. Just, I wanted to explore the other guys and see what's there. Because I feel like he seems to be gravitating to Leah a lot. Because just watching the conversation, he's all up in there. And he, do you know what I mean? And they actually look cute. Talking about Montel. Guys, in tomorrow's like preview... Montel was kissing somebody and that wasn't even the challenge like om jizzle i'm surprised by Montel because i honestly thought that Montel, Montel was gonna be uh faithful the way he was pouring out his heart and all that kind of stuff to leah i really legitly thought that Montel was never gonna do anything but he, he's doing it guys he's literally he's lipsing somebody i didn't even get to see the girl that he was lipsing i was just so taken aback by it i was like what in the world do you see what i'm saying but anyways guys um yeah so i want i want connections to be formed i want natural connections i want to see what will happen it would be good for a lot of the girls to choose boys from casa this time around to bring them over because i feel like most of the time it's just been one like especially last season i think it was that like one person that survived casa so it'd be good to kind of like have more people just to kind of stir things up a little bit more um let's talk about molly and zach <laughs> so molly is trying her hardest to pretend like she um she's not gonna just run back into zach's arms it's quite obvious even before she said it i was just like this girl she knows she wants to kiss the guy or whatever she's obviously trying to say to you i'm not gonna kiss you because of the whole thing with katie because katie didn't allow zach to just get his own way she's trying to do the same thing she's trying to 
kind of like copy that and you know and i'm just like girl be yourself at the end of the day if you want your man go get your man that is your man should i'm saying he's basically saying that he don't want to get to know anybody else apart from molly and i knew that was gonna happen i low-key though i feel like i would have preferred i don't know guys like i do like molly and i do feel like him and molly might have something but at the same time i kind of feel like she had a moment you know what I'm saying? She had a moment and she got chucked out of the villa. I felt like she just stolen a space from one of the castle girls. Like I just feel like she's stolen a castle girl space. That's what I feel. Because now Zach is just, he's only going to be with Molly. Regardless of whether he actually wanted to be with Molly. He say he does. But regardless, he would have stuck with her anyways. Because he would have felt like he's obligated to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because of what they had before. But let's see how that goes. But I do feel like... You know, she's trying to give him a hard time, but realistically, it's all pretend. It's all fake. She wants to cuddle him, kiss him, and all that kind of stuff. And well, hold on, can I just say, because I'm not going to act like I did not see um, Ella on Uzi's chest. She was literally on Uzi's chest. Listen, Ella is playing with fire. Like, listen, if she wants to get to know him, I feel like she should try and get to know him, but... I need her to not do anything crazy because movie night is a B-I-T-C-H and it's out to get ya. So at the end of the day, I'm going to need her to not do anything crazy because if she, if she does anything crazy and she goes back into the main villa with the intention of getting back with Ty... And I actually really like them as a couple. I like them as a couple, especially now that they stopped arguing. This is just going to set off a lot of like arguments and all that kind of stuff. And he's not going to feel like he can trust her anymore. So trust, you know, is very important. So a relationship without trust, I don't think it will go anywhere, especially their one. that they, They're just used to arguing, whatever. They've actually been on the best path so far. So to have something like this, do you know what I'm saying? I felt like, she was the one I was thinking she probably wouldn't do anything. In my head, before Castle, I thought to myself, Ella's not going to do anything. If Ella does anything, it's only because she's scared that Tyreek is doing it. But I've always said I don't think Tyreek would. And look, Tyreek is on his best behavior, guys. He's on his best behavior. So anyways, guys, let's see how it, let's see how it pans out. Because it's early days. He might flip the script and do something unexpected. We just never know. But anyways, guys, I hope you have thumbs up the video. If you haven't, please go ahead and give the video a like. Yes, guys. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell to get updated every single time I upload a new video. Anyways, guys, I am excited about tomorrow's um, episode. So let's see how that goes down. I am excited because I want all the drama, all the pasta pasta, and everything. But anyways, guys, have a lovely night, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. But for now, keep it sassy-licious.